Welcome and Habaragani. Habaragani. Habaragani, which in the African Kiswahilian language means, what's the news? Yes. And what's the news? The news is that Kwanzaa 21 finale feast celebration is being hosted right here at University City United Methodist Church. So my name is Brian Sullivan and I'm the director of contemporary music here at UCMC and your host for our first Kwanzaa preparation uh, workshop that will be taking place today as we seek to educate our congregation, the community, uh, about the upcoming Kwanzaa Finale Feast and just about yes. Kwanzaa in general yes. and culture. And so we hope you'll join us for that feast again, December 29th, 5.15 to 7.30 p.m. in our fellowship hall. But I'm at UCUMC's cafe today uh, for our first Kwanzaa preparation workshop. And I'm joined by a good friend, Minister Paula M. Borashade Sanders. That's right. Who is the director, uh, founder, and president of Alternative Avenues for the Arts, which is our collaborating organization pulling this whole Kwanzaa celebration Yay. together for the folks. We're excited. So Minister Paula, tell us a little bit. What, uh, share about the objective for today and uh, what we have planned for the audience. Yes, Brian. Um, we've been really working on this for about two years, right? That's right. Uh, I think right before Pastor John Boggs last year uh, announced his retirement, we had begun working on uh, this celebration. We made some initial attempts. COVID kind of gets in the way, but you know what? We're not, we are not deterred from continuing this work to become a multi-ethnic church. I, I know, I know. Um, Pastor Boggs actually uh, asked me my uh, position um, during an, in, uh, an interview similar to this. Mm -hmm. uh, we were preparing for me to do my first sermon here. I remember that. And um, he, he asked me what my position was on um, uh, what we could do, what suggestions that I have for uh, the church to uh, intentionally, you know, on purpose, uh, actually uh, bring together um, the church uh, multi-ethnically. And uh, my response to him was, um, well, I would recommend we do some programming, uh, some cultural um, awareness type programs so that uh, the uh, people in the congregation, you know, people of color uh, in the congregation could see, you know, folks like themselves doing things, activities with other members of the church uh, coming together in unity. And um, I, I believe that they would, they, they would honor that and, and maybe want to get involved. And I, I suggested doing a, um, a Kwanzaa. Uh, I mean, they call me the Kwanzaa queen back in Rhode Island, <laughs> where, where I, um, I um, moved from. And um, also, uh, we talked about during that time, um, uh, University City getting involved with some of the collaborating with some of the small businesses in the area, uh, nonprofits and so forth uh, to uh, propose or promote, mm. uh, you know, entrepreneurship and so forth. And so here we are. Here we are. Uh, collaborating uh, U University City with Alternative Avenues, and I'm very happy about that. We are too. Very happy about that. That's we quite an accomplishment. Too. Amen to that. And so I think for the rest of the evening here, in a little bit, our kids are going to come in and you're going to share some, some wisdom, some knowledge, some background and help educate us a little bit about what Kwanzaa means yes. uh, with the seven and, principles yes. and then Guza Saba celebrating generational wealth. Yes, and how they uh, how they feel about that. Uh, I, I see Kwanzaa as a way of living more so than just a uh, celebration, mm -hmm. uh, 360, a way of life. Mm -hmm. And so uh, we want to pass that on to the children. Yes. We want to empower them. We want them to understand the importance of education. And so um, it can be fun for them. Um, uh, making their own gifts and things like that. So we want to give them that introduction when they come. For those of you who may not be familiar with Kwanzaa, it is an African-American cultural celebration, which in the African Kiswahilian language means first fruits. It's a time of harvest and thanksgiving unto our Creator for all of the year's prosperity and appreciation of nature, family, 
the expression of love, community sharing of educational, food, and creative gifts such as crafts, paintings, poetry, spoken word, singing, drumming, and all people coming together to understand one another better. The highlight of Kwanzaa's intergenerational bonding is the children's participation in the Nguzu Saba candle lighting ceremony, which reflects the seven principles of Kwanzaa that represent the seven days from December the 26th through January the 1st, when Kwanzaa is celebrated. During these seven days, a candle is lit by a child as he or she recites one of the principles in the Kiswahili in terms and what that principle means to them. The elders are telling them stories of their African heritage, cultural, spiritual strengths, and how these principles, when incorporated into their everyday lives, can help them face and overcome life's encounters and build foundations of generational wealth for themselves and their families to come.